Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you the very basic rope in Unity. But first of all, let's just have a look at how this very basic rope is working. So let's just drag and drop the prefab into the scene. Boom. And have a look at the rope. Let's just let's just press play button. This is the very short one. We take the head of the rope, we move it around. Well, works pretty good, but I want this rope to be a little bit longer. So let's just take the end of the rope and drag and drop the prefab here and uncheck this because it's not the root anymore. A little bit longer. Uncheck. A little bit longer. Uncheck. And I want this rope to be maybe a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit, okay? Um, okay, this is enough, I think. Un uncheck root. Well, what do we have now? We have this this rope. Let's just take the head of the rope and have a look what's going to happen here. So we press play button and hierarchy disappears. You see? Now they are like independent game objects. Independent game objects that uh, are looking at the script that orders them, I mean not script, component that orders them to do specific actions. Those scripts are actually rope part and character joint that joins this wonderful word light words and I'm going to explain to you now how it's working in the script but before let, let's just have a look how it's working actually in the game so we are taking the head of the rope it's pretty pretty long rope now we're dragging this around and what do we see? we don't see any kind of gaps I mean yeah, there are some gaps, but they are very much invisible, invisible since we market them with uh, like line renderer, which is our friend now in this specific case, which helps us to hide the gap in every segment of the rope. I mean. B b between every two segments of the rope okay pretty pretty well although shadow is not that good but we can fix this later okay let's just dive into the script so what do we have in here we have two transforms actually actually two positions the beginning of the rope and the end of the rope segment we have a checkbox to state whether we are root part of the rope or not this should be like uh, for only one part of the rope this statement is whether we are going to take the material from the root of this rope or we are taking our own custom material assigned to the rope segment of the rope okay this is what's happening in the beginning if this game object has a line renderer if it's actually a rope segment and if we don't want a custom material then we are taking this material from the head of the rope then if uh, this segment of the rope is not the head of the rope then we are moving this one little bit away to position it properly in the hierarchy of the rope system then we add component which joins two segments of the rope we join, we join it to the parent 
into the I mean to the previous part of the rope. We enable projection just to avoid jittery and we make it independent. Then if we are not like uh, the child of the head of the rope, if we are actually the like the mother or I mean the father of the uh, if we are the main in this rope, if we are head, then we are frozen and uh, for all the parts of uh, the rope, whether it's like head or not head, we have this uh, value uh, set as true. Why? Because in the preview mode we have it set to local just to make a preview look good for us. So we would know where those segments would be located. But in the game we set it to world space since we have this rope moving constantly and we have to like be sure that it's going to be looking the way it is intended to be looking. Alright, so and what's happening uh, every time, every frame, if we have this game object as rope segment and we have both the start and the end or of the rope positions assigned, then we constantly say that hey, the position of uh, this rope, like the, the start of the rope, uh, uh, segment of the rope it should be at the point A and the end should be at the point B and where are those positions A and B they are here just let's just go boom and boom you see head head and tail I mean head I mean top and the bottom and it's like every everywhere you see everywhere and why actually this part of the rope is like uh, rope actually and this one is like uh, white it's because we told uh, those segments of the rope I'm going to be showing you this look we told them that we are not taking custom material so we are going to take the material from the head of the rope and let's just say we say it custom material and look what's going to happen now this part of the rope will be with its own custom material see so let's just disable it and make it look properly all right let's just play around with this rope then I'm going to upload this uh, prefab somewhere so you will be able to download it and try this out alright thanks for watching this video I hope this video helped you I hope I explained it pretty pretty well if you have a, like any kind of questions just feel free to address me in the description in the comment section below actually dislike unsubscribe and have a good day Bye-bye. Enough.